Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? Now, if you hear a noise, my neighbor has a fully charged engine car out here. He done turned it on, child. He and then Mr. Thing is back here recording his own review. Hold on, y'all. Let me close this door. Anyway, I got on my mommy uniform, my maternity clothes. My husband refers to them as, oh, please. You can refer to it however you want, but uh, I mean, I'm not getting pregnant because of these clothes. So they're anti-maternity clothes, hell. So hey, y'all. This is our last chit-chat of the year. Um, it has been a interesting year. We have overcome amen like i honestly believe that i believe that we are overcomers we are victorious in 2020 moving into 2021 do not allow the things that have occurred in this year to bleed into 2021 and basically stall you from your god-given purpose do not allow the pandemic do not allow failed relationships loss of job loss of finances loss of people in your life loss of relationships do not allow that to dictate what's going to occur in your blessings that are going to be manifested in 2021 amen if that is a message for someone if not several of you that don't carry on what has occurred in this year do not carry this on into 2021 because you are going to be missing out on your blessings if you decide to do that amen so all right y'all it's our last chit chat of the year um what did y'all get for christmas girl how was your christmas my husband gave me this bottle of chanel coco madam as well honey this is the first full bottle i've had in years um and he typically gives me designer perfume but i specifically asked for this stuff so i'll put it on the other day girl this is gonna be a chit chat that's all over the place girl when are they not all over the place i will say that you know I'm not gonna be as like I, I've said this in my blog. I'm not gonna be as bold as Miss Antoinette, aka Busby, and say it has been the greatest year for me and my family. But it has been a revealing year. Like there's been so many revelations I have that have came about either from other people, revelations that about myself, um, someone that I know and had admired via social media. I come to find out she's not who she seems to be via social media, but I've known her for a long time and I thought I knew the caliber of a person she is. And y'all, this is why I said social media is so freaking phony. Unless you have a personal relationship with someone, do not take what you see on Instagram as truth or as value. I have learned so much about this person in the last 24 hours. I am sickened and a part of me didn't want to believe it, but then I started seeing the receipts either on Lipstick Alley or just on just Googling her. And I'm just gonna go ahead and name drop who it is because I have nothing to lose and I'm not verbally attacking this person. Um, Chanel Diane. Chanel, Chanel Diane, I discovered her on YouTube years ago. She was doing makeup reviews and hair tutorials and I so admired admired her business sense because she was you know revealing all this background information about her trying to get into the hair industry and she ended up flying over to the philippines getting the hair herself coming back that's when she discovered she was pregnant and there's just been a cluster of all this other stuff that has occurred in her life children i just know that i was very shocked to see some of this information i do still follow her on instagram and supposedly she's going to be uh revealing some information because uh, apparently she's been scamming people is what they're saying and so i never fell for it uh, a part of me was this close to getting in on um a project she had a couple of years ago but i i just wasn't a hundred percent sold on it um but women have came forth and said that they are losing not just like 20 30 40 dollars one woman said a thousand i saw another comment she lost two thousand dollars so apparently she knows going to be clearing her name um because she's saying that these are false allegations but from what i understand the fbi is even investigating her so this is very serious okay um, what else is going on y'all switching up homeschooling curriculum for jb specifically for math it's really hard for these children because they did not finish i mean the pandemic broke off like a month 
or so when they were done with school and JV was already struggling with first grade. So we are going to be hitting hard first grade curriculum again and then doing second grade. He still has one foot in first grade and one foot in second grade, if that makes sense. I want to, I want him to successfully transition on a third grade, but if he's not ready in certain areas, I'm not going to move him forward. And that is the luxury of homeschooling is that I can be flexible like that. Okay. So that's what's going on with homeschooling. Yeah, y'all, not really. I'll show you, the baby will show y'all what he got. I didn't really I'm not even really watching anything um back to watching cold case files I love those shows y'all where people solve the murders after a couple of years and there are there are so many cases that have still been unsolved so JB <laughs> so look my husband didn't even know how to use one of these so um yeah so see see look at this do y'all see my nails stop it mama <laughs> Okay, so show them how to use the phone, baby. You just do First this. of all, what are, you, what are you looking for when you, when like, do I just pick it up and start talking? What do I have to? It's going to take years for me to get there. <laughs> Hey y'all, sorry, all over the place, like I said, girl, but um, had to lock my little boy, JB, out of the room. So y'all, um, those of you been trying to say this for the longest, reiterating that things are gonna be changing on this platform, on my channel. First of all, baby, y'all, the way I'm even uploading videos, y'all have no idea. I'm working on two laptops to upload my videos because my older laptop has all of my content. However, my keyboard is crappy and the software is outdated. Then my new laptop I use to edit the video once it's up there. Now, I know a lot of people complain, uh, other content creators complain about how long it takes to upload. I'm okay with that because I can multitask and be doing other stuff. But yeah, it takes a long time and recently I'm having issues even uploading my files onto my computer so yeah no new product reviews that is it so what I will be doing is revisiting some products like I have that Bio Infusion um, Curl Pomade that I will be revisiting here in a couple more weeks or so um, recreating hairstyles I did contact BuzzFeed to let her know that I want to recreate her flexi rod set on blonde out hair Pro probably do that you know early spring of 2021 um want to do a little bit more wash day videos girl even though I hate getting in there Whew. but I want to do more affordable wash day videos because not everyone has the coins to be spending 15 20 dollars on products so revisiting like a dollar tree wash day um wash day under 15 dollars wash day under 10 dollars let's see if we could do that you know what i mean um going into more of the diy hair products i want to really really try marshmallow root a diy marshmallow root a detangler I love some DIYs, y'all. So, yeah, going into that. And, yeah, but, again, new product reviews, new products in general. I don't need to buy anything else. I still have a couple of things coming. Speaking of, are y'all having any issues with some USPS orders? Like, my baby is still waiting on a Christmas gift. I ordered an old-school Game Boy from um, online, like, on the 15th, and it's still not here. Granted, they're telling me now that I need to wait for 10 business days. Don't count the weekends or the holiday. I need to wait for 10 business days before I can even complain. So then I have some hair products I ordered from Walgreens that are still... It is what it is. It, you know, and the status says um, tracking. No, it says pending, running a little late. Yeah, I think your ass is running a little late. <laughs> yeah, you're running a little late. So anyway, y'all... Um, fun with my hair this year I didn't do a lot of hairstyles I had my hair in a lot of protective styles back in a bun you know giving you you know 1950s vibes here so um my hair thrived it really did thrive I incorporated uh fenugreek oil which um my hair absolutely love I left that ass water <laughs> I'm so sorry y'all I left that rice water alone um, I'm still getting comments every now and then, not a lot, um, from people, women, excuse me, who are still struggling with things like moisture retention, growing their hair, 
finding products that work. I really don't know what else to say, you guys, because I feel like we are beating the a dead horse. Like there is so much information out there that you can research. There are so many different products out there and I guess that's kind of the catch 21. There's so much out there you don't know where to go. I have a lot of videos on stuff like that. So instead of telling people what to use, I flat out say you're gonna have to do your own research. It's a trial and error. Here are some of my videos, some of my reviews, but you may not be able to necessarily use the products that I use. You may not necessarily be able to follow my regimen, okay? Because my hair is fairly, fairly healthy right now. So I don't have to do a lot to maintain this health, if that makes sense. So let me show you what my hair looks like the end of 2020. Um, I did cut my ends or trim my ends, excuse me. And I'll take it all down for y'all. Give y'all all the glory that shall be revealed. So this is a very old twist out. Like I'm not even trying to maintain it. This is a really old twist out on stretched hair. Um, yeah, my hair. <laughs> oh, I tried to flat on a little peak, so that's what that looks like. My hair is fairly long, y'all. I don't know how many inches it is. I don't do that anymore. I don't take a notation measure and yeah, it's just long, girl. Um, thickness is still on point. I still feel like my edges are kind of thinning out. Um, and I, I think that that's just gonna come with age, you know what I mean? But thickness is still density is still there um so yeah y'all maybe i'll leave it down for the rest of the chit chat girl so all right y'all what i'm watching on tv um girl this looks so well because <laughs> you can tell this is flat iron girl blend in there somewhere looks like i got on oh, half a half wig or something that didn't blend well so when i'm watching on tv y'all i'm really not watching hardly anything um, now, the only thing I really am watching right now is Game of Thrones, and I know there's several of you, look, I'm with you, baby. I really couldn't get into it at first either, but now I'm on season two, and I'm here for it. You know, I'm here for the dragons, I'm here for all of them. Now, the sex is still a little heavy, and sometimes I have to fast forward it, but it is what it is. Um, and you best believe I have an awareness of some of the... Put it like this, I'm not a type of person that feels like if you spoil something for me, that's it, I can't watch it. I'm very familiar with what the Red Wedding is about, and I'm aware of some of, some of the surprise deaths that are happening, but I'm still gonna watch because I enjoy the plot and leading up to the big, you know, stuff that's gonna occur within the series itself. So, yeah, watching Game of Thrones, let me pull up my stuff, y'all. I really have not been watching anything else. Girl, I'm back to watching stuff like Cold Case Files and Fatal Attraction, Attraction on, um, what is this, y'all? YouTube. Y'all, for a while there, I couldn't watch this stuff because of the death that has occurred in our neighborhood. I've, re I've said this before, but there was a father that killed his family. There was a surviving child i think about that boy especially during the holidays because we knew the kids i think about that boy a lot actually y'all i mean he's they lived right here walking distance so for me personally i couldn't really watch some of that stuff until now now i can handle it but i would think about that family uh because the father beat them to death so anyway y'all um let me tell y'all what i'm watching and i'm sorry to, to even bring that up let me tell y'all what i'm watching and what i have on my list for netflix girl i'm still watching keeping with uh what is it um here's a podcast we're doing a thing when it's said it's said it's here's a podcast yeah y'all know what i'm talking about <laughs> Shit, I can't sing. I can't sing, girl. So, um, one movie series that I have on my list that I haven't watched yet because I'm just so emotional. What is this? Bridgerton. What is this, y'all? The high class. Are these some black, black people? Hold on, sis. Bridgerton. Girl, I see some black duchess. The eight close-knit siblings of Bridgerton family looks for love and happiness in London high society. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and add this to my list. I like period shows like this. And the, oh, and there's black people. A bunch of black people. 
This is on Netflix, number two in the U.S. today. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all see this? You probably can't see my, 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 yes! I am here for this. Julian Andrews. Um, so, I have Ma Rainey's Black Bottom with uh, Viola Davis and Chadwick Bo Bosman on my list. But y'all, Chadwick Bosman was my celebrity crush. And I'm having a hard time watching some of his stuff because I, you know, just thinking about it and getting all upset. Not upset, but just sad about it. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and watch this in a couple of more weeks. I have this movie on here. Child, she looks a hot ass mess with Glenn Close called Here Billy LG. When I saw the thumbnail, I'm like, you are a hot ass mess. So, y'all, not really watching too much of anything. I'm trying to go through my history to see. Um... No, not really. Keeping up with the progress. You heard me singing the theme song originally. I'm still not watching you. I tried to watch you, the series on Netflix. I tried to watch like one episode and I was done, y'all. I couldn't get into it. Same thing with the Umbrella Academy. Look, all the stuff is coming up now that I tried to watch. Umbrella Academy, no, couldn't do that. Oh, y'all, y'all remember All Dogs Go to Heaven? Oh, that brings me back my childhood memories. I think I'm going to watch that. Peaky Blinders. Is there another episode, another season of Peaky Blinders, y'all? I've already watched it. I'm ready for season six. Um, yeah, y'all. Sorry I'm going through my list. Nothing else. Message to the King with Chadwick. My husband watched that. Anything else that I've been watching or catching up on? Girls, tried to watch, um, got through like the first few minutes of why did I get married. I don't know why. So there's certain movies that I don't mind watching over and over. And why did I get married? And why did I get, get married too? Or those type of movies. So rewatch why did I get married? Tried to get into some Christmas shows. I could not catch a Christmas story. And y'all know they play that stuff 24 hours <laughs> during the holidays. Couldn't watch it. JB said I'm too old to be watching the Charlie Brown Christmas. Couldn't catch that. Um, what Christmas movie did I did see? Oh, I did start, um, Married for Christmas. Hold on, y'all. It's on YouTube. Let me find it. Um, uh, with Melinda Williams. Y'all, Melinda Williams will always look like she's 20-something years old. Married Me for Christmas. And I think there's one called, um, Have a Baby for Christmas. She's not, oh, A Baby for Christmas. I, I want to watch that next. So, yeah, those are my Christmas movies that I saw. Um... That's about it, y'all. Like I said, I know I'm kind of scatterbrained. That is it. Really didn't watch anything. And there's really nothing that I am like, oh, I got to watch it right now. I kind of want to get into one of my friends to tell me I need to watch. Not 90 Day Fiance, but is it like, I don't know what it's called. But it's basically where they go abroad. Like the people who want to marry. Like they go over to where their fiance is at. And um, she's telling me I should I should watch it because I guess there's one where there's a black girl who because okay hold on y'all it's Britney and Yazan's story y'all that situation is very very disturbing to me because I feel like Britney she's a sister Yazan I don't know where he's from he's Middle Eastern and he's Muslim and Britney be on her Instagram like hardly with no clothes on and his family is like she needs to take those pictures down whereas you know the sister who's here in the state she's like no i'm my own person i'm gonna keep my pictures up there no and so he's like look they could kill me for this like this is not a joke it's called an honor ki killing because it's what i'm assuming it would be um because she um, him marrying her or being with someone like that is tarnishing and disrespecting the family name. And I think she finally got, finally got it. Again, I'm not watching the show. I'm just catching bits and pieces of it on Instagram. And then what is the one where the, um, the white woman, Ivy, gets baptized and she's Jewish? And I'm kind of going in and I guess she goes over there. You know, first of all, you know, you 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 want the Ethiopian D, so you went over there, and now she has all of these. <laughs> Child, it's just 
a mess. It's already hard enough when you're on the same level, meaning that you are equally yoked as far as um, religion go and you have similar backgrounds, but why would you make things more difficult? Look, I'm not trying to say it doesn't, it won't happen or it won't work. It's just so challenging when you bring into different religions, different, um, extremely different culture backgrounds, okay? It's just really hard. Hell, it was difficult for my husband and I. And because he's from Ethiopia and me having to learn everything about his culture, it was difficult, it was a challenge. Um, even though he is Pentecostal, he grew up Pentecostal, but it was challenges is what I'm trying to say. It was, it was a bit challenging at first. There was a lot of things that I didn't understand and, and there were things he didn't understand about me. But honey, after nearly 20 years, we get it. I couldn't imagine going over my to my husband's country and having to deal with that different aspect. So these people are absolutely child. So I want to try to watch it and get into it, but a part of me will get frustrated and, I, and I'm not trying to have high blood pressure right now. So yeah, we ain't watching it. So all right, y'all, that is it. I'm rambling, girl. This is going to be, um, this video is going to be chopped up and screwed up because I'm piecing together uh i'm piecing together several clips to make this chit chat so all right you guys take care bye